Come on. So what we're going to do here is we're going to have uh, um, fun with the air fryer. We don't need no stinking recipe. We don't even know what we're going to make past um, Tammy brought home some cooked rabbit from Jean. Do you know how he cooked that? I don't. You don't know if it's boiled or... No, I th it was. I think it was in the slow cooker with carrots and onions. Oh, so it's just the meat? Mm-hmm. Well, right. there's bones in it, but... Well, why don't I start? I'll bone that out, and then we'll see where it goes from there. Okay. All right, we'll be back. Okay. All right, that was father-in-law's leftover rabbit cooked meat. We... I'm not sure how it was cooked, but that's what I got to start with. So let's go, let's look over here, Tammy. I have no idea what I'm okay. going to put in this. Let me see, it's rabbit. What should go with rabbit? Carrots. Yeah. We need carrots. We got carrots? Yes. We do have carrots. All right. Oops. Hey, Sawyer likes carrots. Yeah, he does. Oh, here. Sit. Oh, you want one too? Come here. Sit down. Hey, wait. Hey. Okay. Hey, okay. All right, I decided if we're having carrots, we need potatoes. And I'm getting an idea maybe of what I'm going to make, but I got to see if I got something in the freezer. Yep. What you getting? Oh, I shall. Oh, you're walking faster than I am. I believe we're going to make some sort of rabbit pot pie in the air fryer. I think that's what we should do. What I'm going to do first, I think, is I'm going to roast these vegetables. Um, yo, yo, yo. Everything good starts with onion. All right. So we have a Pampered Chef air fryer that has a rotisserie, and I'm just going to a rotisserie basket. I'm just going to put this stuff in here. Everybody seems to have trouble with the air fryers on figuring out temperature and stuff. What I say is don't worry about it. Just go for it. If it ain't done enough, make it doneer. If it's too done, start over. I'm going to spray this up kind of good with this is just butter flavored no cal pam. Give it a spray. Turn it around a little bit. Give it another spray. That's enough. All right. Hmm. Do I want? Uh, I think I'll salt them. Why not? Salt in the sink to keep from making a mess. Alrighty. So yeah, looks pretty good. So we want to put it on rotisserie. And we know from past experience, French fries are French fries at 35 minutes. Mm -hmm. And this makes good French fries out of raw potatoes. That's always people's problems too, cooking frozen potatoes. Mm -hmm. Start with raw potatoes, it's easy. Maybe we'll do a video on that. Not today. So I'm going to set this at... They don't need to be completely done if I'm going to make a rabbit pot pie because right. we're going to put it back in. So right. let's put them in there for 25 minutes and see what happens. Alrighty. We need some moisture in there. What do we got? Cream of chicken? Mm -hmm. What do we got in here? Cheese. Mm-hmm. Um, Italian. There's some Italian. Let's try that. Okay. So we got potatoes, carrots, 
rabbit, onion, onion, cheese. One of these carrots. Get an idea. You wanna poke your camera down in there and see what it looks like? Oh. They got a little ways to go. Steamed. Um, did it? Yeah. I'll put them in for 10 more minutes. Rotisserie. 10 more minutes. Now remember, we didn't know what we were gonna do here. Have no clue, but I found my other ingredient. We had we had pasties the other night, mm -hmm. and we had some leftover gravy. Tip: If you buy a jar of gravy, use half of it and put half water in it. This stuff's way too thick. You can make it go twice as far. So if we got gravy left. I'm going to put. We might as well film a little bit of that if you want. I'm going to put that meat in there. I'm going to put, I don't know, about half of that, that's like a quarter jar of gravy, it's not very much, so, like I said, this isn't a recipe, we're just cooking with the air fryer, I think I'm going to put an egg in there to bind it all up, and we'll see where it goes from there. I have confidence that that's enough. So I'm just going to yep. spill them into here. There was onions in there too, weren't there? Yep. I don't see them. They're in there somewhere. All right. I think we could use the rest of that gravy. All right. So what do we got in there? We got potatoes, carrots, hassen pepper. Onion. Onions, some leftover watered down gravy. I think I think that cooled that down enough. I'm gonna put an egg in there. I think I'm gonna put about that much flour. And if I'm gonna to have to stir it anyways, where's my ground pepper? I think I'm going to put a skosh more salt on that. Actually, um, what's this? Roasted garlic and herb. Why not, Nate? Let's put that in there. No fear. Alrighty. There's our pie innards. mess am I making? Did I salt that? Again? No. Who didn't? You put the um, garlic in. <clears throat> okay. Well, I don't need to put any more salt on it. Alright there. So. <laughs> How quick can I be? Were you putting the cheese or not yet? Um. Let's put a little cheese. I was going to mix it in, but I forgot about it. Let's just put a layer on top. How quick can you be? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I thought I had it. Look at her! So, what I customarily do is when I make a pie, is vent it with my tree. An egg wash. I just gotta do an egg wash. A couple of tablespoons of water. I'm ready for a air fryer rack. This might get a little messy. 
this. And hopefully not. But we got a drain pan in there for it. So I got my brush out already. I can get up there and show them what you're doing. My egg filled in my crack. <laughs> in my tree. Okay. So, I'll slip her in there. I'm going to put it on bake. Now, 350 for how long? Well, I'm going to put it in there actually for um, 45 minutes because. This air fryer has a function and it lets us know halfway through, so at 22 and a half minutes or somewhere around there, it's going to holler at me and let me come and look at it. That's the one thing, people always worry about the temperature. At, temperatures on an air fryer are not gospel, depending on your, your ingredients, all kinds of things. They could be different from one manufacturer to another. From what I found out, we have another one of these up at the cabin. And one air fryer to the next is different. So, cook. Don't let that do the cooking for you. You do the cooking. So, we're going to check back in at 22.5.5 minutes and um, see how it's going. Extra egg from the egg wash. Here's what you do with it. 35 seconds. Peek in there. See the egg in the glass? It's growing. It's growing. Can't really see it, but... You can see it when I open the door. Oh. Watch it shrink. Alright. There's a purpose for that. And he's standing right there. And he's standing right there. So, in a couple of minutes, they're going to get an egg souffle. When it cools down. Right. Did he say an egg souffle? Yeah. And we're about halfway. We're gonna look at that in a minute. Come here, guys. Here's your eggs. Well, so now. Okay. <laughs> All right. Let's look. You can take a peek in there, but I think it's gonna. It needs the other twenty minutes. All oh right. yeah. Gone. Okay. All right, that was 45 minutes. What we're going to do is what everybody should do, is we're going to stick a thermometer in there and see what the actual temperature is on this. And that way we'll know if it needs to be back put back in there. I don't see it doing anything. Oh, there we go, 130.8. I'd like it a little warmer than that. Whoop, 160 points. I would say we're good, Tammy. Oh, yeah. I'm pretty sure it's good. Alrighty. I gotta have another pot holder because that is a hot one. Alright. Okay. You wanna just put it on that board there? I'll shut the door for you. Okay. Ooh, it looks good. Alrighty. There she is, folks. And what we're going to do is we're going to let this rest probably for a half hour before we cut into it and see what it looks like. Once again, don't be scared of your air fryer. Don't think you got to have a recipe. Just experiment. Have fun with it. Don't put it back in a box and put it in a closet or Send it to me. I'll be, I'll take it. Okay. Alrighty, I guess we're about to find out, eh? 
Think it's gonna hold together? What does it feel like? It feels like it's pretty good. Does it smell like rabbit? I don't know. <laughs> Oh, big pieces. I'm going to cut each one in half again. Oh. Or, if you want them left big, I can leave it big. No, I don't want one that big. You chipped my tree on the top. I'm sorry. You didn't tell me there was a re Requirement for no nope, no requirements. We just open it's edible. Slide that over there. Let's you want look, another piece on it? Look that over. I'm gonna just let you eat it. I'm not gonna be the guinea rabbit. You got a fork? I gotta get a fork. Hey! Hey what? You're eating off of mine. Found an onion. Let me have it. <laughs> what? How about, are the carrots done? I think so. Mm-hmm. That's good. Did you get a chunk of rabbit in yours? Yeah. Yeah. I Is ate it good? Piece. Yes, it's delicious. Alrighty. Well, what do you oh, think? You can have that one. A success? Mm -hmm. Spin that pie back around here. I'll let's see what it looks like. Oh, I almost think I should probably be playing some 70s porn music. <laughs> Why? <laughs>
yeah, 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 that's a good idea. Yeah, I was, I was going to ask you what about the rabbit. That was, uh, they came from German Island. Uh, they were uh, shot, I don't know, several, you know, within a few miles of Drummond Island, and they've, they've never been, like, they've been big, but usually you have to cook them for a long, long time, because those... Well, I, I stewed that one. Did you? That's why, that's why I did it. I stewed it with uh, onions and carrots and stuff, and then uh, put the rabbit in there, and then I put Yep. Jeremy's actually videoing me right now as you're telling me this because I'm going to make a video about making. But see, by you telling me that and me knowing that, I can call what I made out of that meat you sent home wild hair pie. There you go. There you go. <laughs> Well, cool. But they've been they've been going up there for years and years, and, and just like the guy with the caribou, he's been going up caribou hunting for years and years. But he, he's not going anymore. He said, "You won't get no more caribou unless my son goes." But he said, "I doubt if he's going next year." What did he's got a trip book to Africa? I'm trying to remember what I put the caribou in. He Pardon? he. The, it was the, like goulash stuff he brought. Oh, it! I made I made like a goulash, or it was almost like a lasagna without lasagna noodles. Yep. And, and I put it in that, and that was awesome. Yep, yep. Yeah. I've I've also made taken the caribou uh, when it's just the small pieces like that, and I've mixed it in, made mac and cheese, and mixed it in with the mac and cheese. Oh, that'd be good too. Yep, yep. Yeah, that comes out pretty good too. So Tan I just I just got done cooking for Tammy here, so What'd she had, get to eat? I had some hamburger left over from yesterday because I had a hamburger steak and I can't eat a whole pound of hamburger, so <laughs> I just fried that up, loose fried it, and I mixed some potatoes in with it, canned potatoes, drained them and patted them dry. Mixed a can of green beans in with it with some and when it was all done at this stick, I took a little honey barbecue sauce open pit and just dabbed it in, not put a lot on it, just enough to sweeten it. She really liked it. She ate two helpings of it. So. Wow, that's cool. You know, yeah. that that's kind of what the video I'm making is about, is about fearless cooking with the hot air fryer. And, wow. you know, you, you got to be fearless. If, if it looks good, put it in. Right, right. Oh. I make, well, like the caribou, I always put about a half a teaspoon of sugar in. Hey, Gene, I, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to cut our conversation off because Jeremy is standing there with the camera and he's keep he's saying, I got to go, I got to go, I got to go. So. <laughs> yeah, well, his mom's on the way. She left five minutes ago. Okay, he's leaving right now. <laughs> okay, we'll talk to you later. Talk to you later. Bye-bye. Okay.